So I'll touch people beyond the lens. I honestly believe with what he's doing, the work that he's doing, he's charismatic, he makes us laugh, it's not, he's genuine. I feel like there's something in the cosmos and in our callings that there's just, just the time is now kind of thing. He's actually able to just help me heal. Hi Cancerians, oh, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. I think there's a glare in my, there's a glare in your eyes. <laughs> what is that song? How are you? <laughs> welcome to my channel Cancerians. This is going to be uh, your reading for mid-month. The mid-month we do this because we want to be special. <laughs> I follow Sidereal Astrology, which is based in Vedic Indian Astrology, where we follow where the sun plays, where the actual placement of the planet. So right now, it's going to be Taurus season. It just step in, okay? So we look at the planets, we see it there, it says Taurus. Okay, so that's why we have mid-month. This is my monthly. This is how our monthly goes. It goes, it crosses over to June. All right, so uh, um, let's start your reading. Um, we're going to be focusing on you because why would we waste time on other people's life when you have an amazing life? So we're moving our channel again to a healthier way of listening and watching a reading. Okay, so we are very, you know, it's like we're trying to be, uh, how to say this, a more progressive channel because we have such a big voice here. Okay, so not everybody will like this because not everybody is mature enough to understand that reading should be about the person who is going to be being read. Okay, so let's see what about your life. This is your monthly. Mm-hmm. If other person comes through, we read it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this is about you, Cancerian. Let's see. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Six of swords. Six of swords. What's going on here? Being ignored? Or are there are a lot of pink elephants. When I say a lot, that boat will sink. Mm -hmm. That's a six of swords. Now, the relationship is at awkward stage. You could have, you would develop trust issues. If you, this is when, well, we haven't been talking. Uh, this is and that. And uh, there's a lot of gray area. Now, the re reason why I'm focusing already in the relationship because there's three people here. Kids could be involved. Now, both of you in the Six of Swords means well to try to get across. But without discussing the truth between the two of you, then it will sink. Because after the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and you will feel betrayed. You will feel like, well, you should have told me, you know, this is where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. So someone needs to come to you honestly. Honestly. That's the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. so what you do here is since there's a lot of gray area in the relationship you'd rather focus on your coins your health your finances you're too busy anyway because the eight of pentacles is one pentacle at a time and this pentacles only shows that um, there are urgent stuff that you need to do because Seven of Pentacles, you were waiting. You were waiting for, you know, to, for a job to get back and then you got the opportunity. You got your schedule. You got the business going. So now this is where, of course, your mind is and this is where your time will be spent. Eight of Pentacles. That's where your focus is.
judgment, but you do feel that there is an urgent matter between the two of you, so the judgment is all about, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. Are we going to be on the same page? Are we moving forward or this is it for the two of us? Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Mm -hmm. If you try. But the two of you are hardly even trying. Hardly. Mm -hmm. And you basically, you know, right now is just like, well, I'm ignoring that pink elephant. Let that pink elephant become blue, purple, red. But now you can't anymore because you feel that this might be the time where you guys will break apart. This is where you draw the line. This is where I can't be with you anymore because we haven't been really talking about things that you've been hiding after our argument. Uh huh. Things that you found out. Mm hmm. Okay. See, I tried to stir it just with your life, but clearly you're attached with someone. You are attached. Your mind, your emotions, your feelings is about them. You're ruled by the moon. Mm. So for you, this thing has gone long enough. You want to know what the darker side is of this moon. You want to find out what have you been hiding from me. What have you been not telling me this whole time that I was focusing on work? I was focusing on coins. What are those things? And some of these are feelings also. Deep-seated feelings. So we don't know if this person is mad. This person is angry. This person is in love. But they're hiding their feelings. Hmm. But what a girl gotta do, Sal, two of swords, or a guy, what a guy gotta do, Sal, or whatever gender you are. If I try to talk to them, my focus will be out of work. And I need my job, Sal. I need my coins. I need to pay the bills. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Mm-hmm. Loud and clear. I just want to be happy, you know, Sal. I just want to be taken care of. I just want to be emotionally fulfilled. This is what I want. This is what I want to do with my life. I don't know why I talk like this. I talk like this. I talk like this. Maybe it's because the mic. <laughs> Nine of Cups with a judgment. Clearly, you want to do a good thing here. I don't want to separate with themselves. We can save it. Nine of Cups with a judgment. If we can reconcile, why not? Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying here. Mm. Two of Pentacles. Mm. Now this is a little tricky. Because you're trying to hold on to the situation for quite a long time. How long are you just going to pretend that you're busy? How long are you going to ignore this connection? You got to ask yourself, Cancerian. You can't keep ignoring it just so that you're emotionally stable. And that's what you're doing here. I don't want to be emotional, so. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles. Mm. So, things has to change. Things has to stop. Hmm. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You have a Scorpio over there. You have another Cancerian. Okay. Four of Pentacles. You can't keep hiding, Cancerian. That's what you do when you are about to be emotional, Four of Pentacles. When you know that things are uncertain, what do you do? You grab that blanket. You cover yourself to sleep. 
And then you just wake up again like everything is fine. No, it's not fine. TikTok, not the app. Something is about to blow up. And if you do not, and if you do not bring it to surface, the universe has its way. Your emotions can't be bottled up way too long. You know also when you bottle up that emotion. You know how that feels. So crabby. Don't be crabby. Don't be hiding. The universe is asking you to make a decision. And not to hold back anymore. Okay. So I'll continue this reading. Link down there in the description box. Cancerian. Make sure. Oh, I'm attending a webinar on Friday. Um, uh, it's the for stability. Remedies with Mr. Kumar. I'm attendant. I'm not the host. I'll be a student like you, and I'm learning there. So Mr. Akumar is a very wonderful astrologer, um, Vedic Sidera. So make sure you use the code SAL30. It's a discount. You get $30 discount on the webinar. So check it out. It's gonna be The, the link is going to be down there also. Okay? Before it extended, let's see what's going on, Kinsirian. And thank you very much. This is your mid-month. Let's focus on you. But right now, it's, we'll focus on the two of you. <laughs> well, this is live after tarot. Bye, guys.